answers. So sorry I'm late with you guys' reading, but the energy was so thick, I just needed to take a pause and cleanse. I hope you guys understand. I just want to make sure that I'm giving you the purest and the cleanest energy possible. Okay? Um, thank you to everyone that's liked, shared, subscribed. If you've purchased a reading or if you've donated to my page, I appreciate you more than you could ever know. Okay? This energy can be masculine. Can be feminine. You guys place it on whatever side uh, the energy is supposed to be on, okay? Um, you know, I don't. Let's see what's going on here. Matter of fact, I'll put these here. Readings this week have been draining me. I know you guys said you wanted longer videos from me, but oh my gosh, the energy that I've been going into for you guys has been killing me, literally. <clears throat> There's a lot of crap going on out here in these streets, okay? So let's see. Okay, we have Perido Life Lessons. You can break free from recurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and the blessing they contain. Okay, so some of y'all may find yourself in a recurring cycle. You may have, may be there now. Things may be happening like it's happened before, some sort of deja vu moment, right? Um, and this is having to do with you uh, figuring that you're going to be loyal to a situation or a person. Um, this person may also be loyal to you, but there's some things about this person that you don't know or some things that you may be coming into right now. Um, I have the Luck, Abundance, and Summer card. You know, for me, this is a pregnancy card, so some of you may be expecting now or may have some around, someone around you that's expecting, okay? Take it how it resonates. This is going to bring some sort of uh, positive transformation in your life uh, with this pregnancy for whoever it is that I'm talking to. Um, someone may be feeling a little pitiful right now because their relationship is not going the, the way that they felt it should be going. Okay. What else, Spirit? Right. Um, you may be getting some one-sided energy, meaning you feel one way about something or the other person feels another way. Or they could be um, not uh, reciprocating in a way that you... Uh, need them to be okay somebody could feel like they just someone could be here hearing from other people that they like just sold they soul out just for something here um and could be bypassing everyone and everything to to utilize this <clears throat> someone is needing to find their own escape from judgment Okay, so people may be judging a situation or a person and they're trying to figure out how to get away from, from this energy. If this is not you, this is your person, Cancer. Bottom of the deck, I have plotting. Okay, let's see what comes out though. I have someone putting evil eye on your situation or on your relationship. I have someone that is trying to be a copycat. So you may have someone around that may be trying to either act like you or do things like you do. It's not going to resonate with everyone. This competition, this person may be uh, an option or someone may be an option in this union. I have mental, meaning someone is having some sort of mental issues and maybe taking some medication as well. I have someone trying to hack your social media account, so pay attention. Okay, one more card, Spirit. Fight. Someone wants to get physical. There's someone here um, that either this is a verbal or physical altercation. Okay, you guys be safe out there. Please. Concerning these life lessons, what is it, Spirit? Okay. You may have some nostalgia that keeps you attached to a person, place, or thing. Meaning, you know, you feel like, hey, you know, 
I care about them or I don't want to stop what I'm doing with them. You know, then I have to start all over with someone else. And sometimes these nostalgic feelings put you in a state of, you know, confusion. Okay. So you're going through old messages and memories and stuff of that nature, or someone could be doing this with you. But these are the secrets that I was talking about over here with this card. There's something that you don't know about a person. They're real hush hush with when it has to do with something. Um, someone wants to take you out. Okay, take you out dancing, get some closure, um, have some sensual time with you, be able to hold you in their arms is what I'm hearing, whether you're masculine or feminine. This is someone that's going through some sort of contract or divorce settlement, uh, some sort of dispute or something of that nature, legal, may have some legal issues at this time, or this could be you, they're lurking, making fake accounts, having others lurk or trying to keep an eye on you okay right we have planning i did see plotting before at the bottom of the deck okay of the other deck okay inner child okay whoever this is that i'm talking about has inner child issues right bad childhood poor relationship with parents neglected abused abandoned emotional immaturity or this person can be a child this person can be um Not only immature, but it could be a physical child, okay? Well, this person or, or your person could have children in a situation where their children have gone through this as per your person and the person they had children with. That's not going to resonate with everyone, so you take it how it resonates with you, okay? So all you really want is your Ten of Cups situation. Okay, and Spirit is saying that you need to get out of the loop that you've been in of having situations that are not for your highest good and not for what you want them to move towards. Okay, the Ten of Cups situation. You may be accepting some things and 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 maybe saying, okay, this has potential, or or I could get this to this to that. Right, meaning. The progression in the relationship will turn out to be what it is that you need it to be. But Spirit is just saying you just have a bunch of karmic lessons, basically, with this Pyridum card. Okay? I have the Ace of Wands and the Two of Wands that just fell out here in my hand. I didn't know I had two cards, but I'm going to take them. Okay? So there's a lot of good sex and passion where you are. Okay? And, um, you know, it's still, you're still looking and trying to figure out what, what is the best path for you to follow with this situation. Okay. Um, like, what do I want to do? Okay. It's planning stages. We did see that here. People are frustrated, not knowing what to do, what decision to make. Do they want to stay? Do they want to go? Are you content? Are you restless? What is it? Okay. Having to do with this energy, right? You have a new relationship or someone could be pregnant here as well. This is also a baby card for me. Um, a, a baby born out of maybe a one night stand or a sexual encounter with someone else. This is what it is. Okay. Have the moon energy. Right? This is what I was telling you about here. Moon energy is something that you don't know about. The things that's going on on the back inside. The things you weren't told, the things you wonder about, the, the things that are bothering you. You may have things that are that are irritating the fuck out of you right now because you can't figure that shit out. This is the lies, the deception. People moving suspect, right? People are needing to let go of the fear that could be in case, in encompassing them now. Like you need to trust your instincts. You need to listen to your instincts. You may be having some mood swings and some bullshit happening right now too. Some of you could be having some menstrual issues. Ladies, um, I see this as a card where you have like heavy bleeding going on. So if that's going on, fibro uh, fibroid, tumors, um, endometriosis, stuff of that nature, please get yourself checked out. This is cancer energy, Pisces energy. Water energy for me, like I see that in this year, it's just water all over it, even in the picture. And I'm normally it's just Pisces people call out for this moon energy, but I see other stuff. Okay. I see a little bit of temperance in here too with this moon energy because you're needing to balance your senses. 
okay? Don't be all on, for, for my women, don't be all on your feminine energy of just allowing somebody to tell you whatever the hell they want to tell you. I need y'all to be on your masculine energy, um, balancing that shit out and, and, and demanding, being confident and demanding an answer, okay? A real fucking answer, for real. Two of Swords. There it is. Making a decision. Okay. What are you going to do? Libra energy. You know, because some of you may be still feeding yourself that hokey doke and saying, oh, everything is going to be all right. This is what I needed to be. No, it's not. Okay. Because you're, you're stopping yourself from seeing the, the freaking truth of the matter. And the truth of the matter is, okay, for some of you, you know, fucked up again and you know, got yourself in the cycle. That's the truth. Some of you don't like the truth, though. Okay? <clears throat> Some of you are unhappy even if you're in a relationship because you feel separation from person, people, places, or things. You may have had a lot of tears or someone did around you. Some of you could be getting a, a medical procedure done or you could have someone around you getting a medical procedure or maybe they're in the hospital or something having to do with ill health. Okay? Libra energy. Right? Some of you are needing to go within with this hermit cart. Do some soul searching, connect with the divine, figure out what it is your intuition is trying to tell you. Just be quiet, even if you got to just go into meditative mode where, when you're stealing a few moments a day, okay? Do what you can do so that you can connect. You know, if you can't ever find any alone time, do what I used to do, I still do. I lock myself in my bathroom. I just sit there until I think, look, my... My behind be falling asleep on the toilet sometime, but guess what? I don't even give a shit. I'll still sit there because that's my time. And I know I ain't going to allow nobody to bother me while I'm on the throne. Mm-hmm. True story. <laughs> Some of you need to heal from the relationships of the past so that you can get through this relationship and do what you need to do on the other side, okay? Some of you was sent this relationship because you were not healed from the other relationships and you did not advise spirit that you knew what the what what happened you didn't know why you were in that lesson you didn't tell them what you learned you didn't go through any of it you know some of you could be dealing with baby mama issues or you could be a baby mama okay this empress card Right? You could be in a committed relationship, but somebody's not happy here in their role. I'm leaving it here. I'm sending y'all love. I'm sending you light. Y'all take care.